I don't know about you all, but when, um, when I make a friend, I like to hold on to them. You know, it's sometimes hard when you, someone comes into your life special and you just want to hold on to them and keep them in that circle. At this time, I want to invite a special friend of ours, Mina, uh, to come down. And all of those who have agreed to have words, uh, please come down at this time. So Mina is leaving uh, for Korea in a couple of weeks. She will be with us next week, but she'll be at the Pride Parade, and many of you will not be there. But this is her last Sunday here with us for a minute um, after she comes back from being in Korea for a month, her home place, South Korea. She will then go to Berkeley, California for her PhD journey. Today, June 19th, is kind of like her last time where we're all gathered. This is the space where most of us kind of gather together and those listening. So we wanted to express our appreciation for Mina's contributions to our congregation. So what we're going to do is we're first going to ask people to speak, and then we're going to give Mina a little opportunity to speak, and then we'll say a short prayer. So for all of those people, you can hit the mic. They have not hit it, but... There we go. Uh, she's really humble, as you can see. Um, beautiful inside and out, and has a beautiful spirit of service and a beautiful voice. I'm, 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 I don't know if she would want to sing something for us at all today, but um, she's it's so lovely, and I've, I've, I was really um, touched when she gave me the beautiful bookmarker from Korea when she came back home from there. And the few times she shared her voice with us here in the congregation was, were very special to me. So you will be missed, but I'm really excited for the grand adventure you're about to embark on, and I know you're going to excel. So thank you for your service here. Mina is more than just your average person who comes to church. She is a friend. She is someone who always shows up for your support and help. She brings me confidence, and she always cheers me up on a bad day. She can get you back on your feet, getting ready for a new adventure. She is always helping others, checking in on you. Sometimes I wonder how can she get from the other side of the room to this side of the room. I swear, it's like she has superpowers. But my point is, Mina is a person who is caring, kind, social, and outgoing. The first time I met her, she kind of seemed shy, but she has brought the best in all of us. I am grateful to have you as a friend, Mina. This isn't goodbye yet. This is just a new chapter in our life. Mina is an explorer in my, in my mind. She come from South Korea and come to the United States and stay with us for about two years. This explorer in her journey. She also explorer to finding a voice. So she also one of the people in our church who always work very hard behind the screen. Now you can see that later she will run here, run there, passing the microphone to help people out to have their own voices. And during the open affirming team, she tried to bring our awareness for cultural differences. And we turn now we have a Korean version of the open, state, open affirming statement and covenant. will be the first Korean covenant in the United States. She also one of the explorer try to help us out to do the Pacific Islander and Asian American ministry for two years already. She loved to share the story, explore all the possibility. That's also in the media team that we received so much contribution from her and saw the gift 
she has shown us and all the kindness, hospitality she has provided us. It's such an explorer, we are so lucky to have her. As an explorer to another explorer, Mina, live long and prosper. <laughs> I kind of echo kind of some of uh, Josiah's words. Maybe that's why we live in the same house. <laughs> uh, when you came, you were really quiet and kind of shy, but I agree with Wei Jin that you have found more and more your voice, or we c have come to see you more clearer. I see your strength, and uh, one of the things you guys don't get to see is that Mina is very, very intelligent and smart. Uh, this girl has prolific stuff in her that will come out. And so I knew without a doubt that you needed to do a PhD, and I'm excited for this new chapter. Um, we will really, really miss you. Uh, towards the end of your stay here, you got to be really bubbly, and you were just, you know, skipping around and just so full. I was like, man, the Holy Spirit is really doing something <laughs> with Mina. So it's been good. We thank you for being such a great support to Wei Jin and for your presence here. Um, and we were just so happy, happy to have you in our midst, and we wish you well. Before we pray for you, uh, Mina, you can come and talk, or you can surprise us and sing, or however you want to greet us and share with us, please do that. Uh, hello. This is Mina. <clears throat> Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, when you look at me, what can you see? The act of singing includes many other things and subsequent act. When you see me, you can wonder about me and you can judge or access me and you can also imagine me. And when you find the fact that you are not only person looking at me, but I'm also looking at you, that there is a mutual gazing. This act of singing becomes an encounter, and I call it deep engagement. This is one of my research theme academically and ontologically. After getting here, most of the time I was bystander, spectator, and as I experienced many both big and small encounters, I could build a new relationship as well as a new life. And there also was this my beloved community. Uh, United Church of Hyde Park was, for me, a shelter, a safe and sacred space, and a supportive ground for me. Without this new home, my new community, I wouldn't have been able to survive in this unfamiliar country. Now I see you, not only see you, but also deeply engage you in your hope, your sufferings, and all your stories. Just as I have been in this safe and supportive home, all of you will be in my thought and prayer. Many thanks for all love and prayer. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, just stay, stay. So, if you all could just extend your hands toward Mina. Dear Lord, we, we, Nothing is by accident, and so we thank you for uh, bringing Mina here. Um, as much as we were a gift to us, she was 
a gift to us. And so it was mutual. Uh, we thank you for deep engagement. We thank you for the humanity of her touching the humanity in us and the humanity in us touching the humanity in her. Now there is this exciting chapter awaiting Mina, and Lord, we thank you for it. May she leave this space knowing that we love her and we wish the best for her and that we are behind her and that we support her. May this chapter be full of learning and knowledge and you completing the thing that you have started in Mina. We pray for her journey. We pray for wisdom and blessings and grace and mercy. In Jesus' name, amen. You want to say something? So after service, please make sure you get to say goodbye to Mina. Thank you.